Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a Shimmer and Shine face paint. I'm so excited to get to show you these Mikem FX face paints. They are from Fantasy Worldwide and I really, really like them. On the left is a blue color and on the right is the pink that I'll be using in this tutorial. They screw together for easy transport, which I thought was one really cool feature. The color that I'm going to be using for Shimmer is F7. One super unique thing that I found about these face paints is that they can be used dry for blush or for shadowing. I've never found that with any other brand of face paint and I thought that was quite neat. So to start out this design, I'm just going to use some of the pink color on my dry kabuki brush. Shimmer and Shine both have bright pink cheeks in the cartoon, so we're just going to make pink cheeks on both sides for both of these face paints. Be sure to check out my other video where I'll show you how to face paint Shine. Since Shimmer has pink eyebrows and pink hair, we're going to start out by filling in the eyebrows with our pink color. And you'll just do the other eyebrow the exact same way. Next, using a large filbert brush, I'm just going to start at the center of the forehead and swoop down a curved shape to simulate Shimmer's hair. One thing that I want you to be sure that you notice from this to the next shot that I show you, it has darkened slightly as it dried. So now I'm just going in with some more of the pink mixed with some wolf white and I'm going to tap it out just to give her some highlights and dimension to her hair. And next I mix together some of the Mikem FX F7 pink and some of my Krivelin Creamy Rose together and I'm just going to darken up the center part and also the outside portions of the hair on both sides. And next, for the pearls in her beautiful headpiece, I've loaded up a number six round brush with some wolf white. You just want to get your white to the point where it's almost dripping off your brush to make these nice circular round dots. And I'm just going to make a series of three going up and then along the sides on both sides. Next, I'll come in with a finer detail brush. This is totally an optional step. You can skip this if you want to, but I've just mixed together some white and some black to make a gray shade, and I'm just going in and highlighting one edge of each pearl for a little bit of extra dimension. Again, you can totally skip this step if you want to. And next for her beautiful gem in the center, I'm going to be using some Maron Add Gem Adhesive and one of the Peacock Gems from the Face Paint Forum Shop. I'm just going to go ahead and use the little applicator in order to apply this medical grade adhesive to the back of the gem. And then I will try to place it right in the center of the design coming down from that bottom pearl. If you can see any on the edges, it's okay, it dries clear. And next I'll go in with some bright pink cosmetic glitter on her hair just to give it some extra sparkle and shine. I'll also roll a damp brush into my glitter as well and then just come along and tap my eyebrows to add a little shimmer and shine to her eyebrows too. And next, I'll just go in with a dry kabuki brush and sweep away any excess cosmetic glitter that's fallen on my face. And that's it. That's the finished look. I hope you guys like this and you can use it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.